For the last video, I gave you a very basic challenge of jQuery where you have to achieve something like this. When you click on this all checkbox, all should be checked. If I uncheck this, all should be unchecked. In case all are checked and I'll uncheck any of the option, for example, this one, this thing should be off or unchecked. And this was the jQuery code for that challenge. Now in this challenge, you have to convert this entire jQuery code into a JavaScript code. I mean, completely a plain vanilla JavaScript. So pause the video, try it on your own. Once you are done, you can resume it and see what my approach is to convert this jQuery code into a JavaScript code. So let's start with this. First comment out this part. So first thing we need a listener for this click event. So let's create a variable here and we'll make use of document.getElementById. In this case, as you know, it's all. So let's add a event listener here. That is click. Okay. And when you will click on this, you want to Call a function by the name of toggle. So let's create that function here toggle. Now we need this piece of code converted to JavaScript. So cost is checked equal to all dot check property. So we are basically checking for this if it is checked or not. If it is checked, will get true here if it is unchecked we'll get false here now we need to loop through these elements all the checkboxes like we are doing here for that we can make use of document dot get element by tag name okay this thing so tag is input great now we have to convert this into a array so that we can loop through this for that there is a method that is array dot from okay to loop we have to make use of for each function and we'll have element here so based on this value true or false will check or uncheck the elements so it will make it equal to is checked that's it so this part is done now just save this and go to browser click on the all all are selected uncheck this all are uncheck or you can say deselected now next part is to convert this code into javascript as you can see this is kind of a complex selector for this we have to make use of document dot query selector all okay and you can just simply copy this from here this much and paste it here great again it will return html collection so we have to do the same thing array from then for each So we have to uncheck this element all so we'll simply take all dot checked equal to false but this should go in a function so we'll make it function uncheck all and we'll do it here here we need to add a listener to all the checkboxes so we'll do it like this element dot add event listener you want to listen the click event here then you want to call uncheck all that's it so this part is also done now save it go to browser check this all are checked uncheck this all are unchecked now check it again and uncheck any one of them this one so it's working as expected 
I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.